back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chatty sort of get ready with me as I left the vlogs on a massive pause. I said I'd do another vlog coming home. However, I didn't do that so I thought I'd do sort of like a story time whilst doing my makeup. I'll also be talking about other things going on in my life and just different things going on around the world I guess. Um, the majority of the products I'm going to be using are new. I haven't tried them before. Drugstore have. There are a lot of my like classic faves as I haven't got enough. Um, makeup to do a, ho a whole face of new products I guess or drugstore as I do love high-end products I do tend to use them as they're the ones I prefer and the ones that work my skin better it's just personal preference so yeah without further ado let's get started with this video. I start my makeup off by spraying my face I use this a lot while I do my makeup as I've probably said a lot of times I use this to set on my face to start my face to like wet my brushes it's such a good like multi-purpose product and I love it And it's NYX, so it's like not expensive. But yeah, I thought I'd start by just talking about what happened with the vlogs. So obviously I vlogged my trip to Milan and I really hope you did enjoy them. I did have a good, good time. It was really lovely over there, lovely weather, although sometimes a bit too hot, but it was still lovely. And good company, just everything was really good. Um, it came to the last day. I vlogged some of it, but I think I ended up just deleting the clips because I was like, it's there's no point me really uploading it as I'm not actually ending the vlog because I ended up turning into a bit of a mess. Everything turns into a bit of a mess. So yeah, we um, got on the train, headed to the airport, and then Dad was like, because we weren't sitting here, Dad, and um, they've got like, the updates on their phone, and then he told me that um, I need to come and sit with him, and I was like, what's happening? As I was like, obviously quite concerned. And then he goes, I'm really sorry, but the flight's been cancelled, and I was like, are you kidding? So basically our flight had been cancelled that day, which was so frustrating because if you know me, you know that I'm quite like an anxious person if you've watched previous videos or you know me in general. So I was so proud of myself that I managed to get through the whole trip without getting anxious really at all. So then to hear that the flights went, got cancelled, obviously it turned me into a bit of a downward spiral thinking like everything was going so well for me and like everyone in general. And then this sort of just like threw me off and I got so low and so upset. We ended up staying for about two to three hours, probably even three to four actually, in the airport. There was such a long queue because also the Bristol flight and the Madrid flight got cancelled. So there was two huge, like one huge line full of two loads of plane people and the queue took so long because a lot of people were getting really angry for like obvious reasons. But obviously the staff can't help it, so I, I always feel so sorry for like, in that situation to the EasyJet staff. However, it was horrendous. We ended up getting a hotel in, what's it called? It's called La Robin. <laughs> Probably said that completely wrong. But we ended up getting a um, hotel um, linked to the airport. Obviously EasyJet paid for it as they messed it up. But yeah, to be fair, for a hotel airport, it was such a nice hotel. I, I didn't mind staying there at all. I was so worried thinking, like, where are we going to be staying? But it was actually a pretty decent hotel. So once we got back, this is bearing in mind, we got to the airport probably about five, six. Got to the airport, um, got to the hotel at about midnight. So we hadn't had any tea because obviously we were planning on getting tea once we got through departures. We were all oh, so moody, so tired, like, obviously. Um... So yeah, we got, the restaurant had shut, so we had to get food for the vending machine for tea. Me and Chris got a Kinder Bueno, tuck crackers and cookies, because that's all they really had. They had no proper food. However, they are better than, their vending machines are a lot better than ours. So luckily we did actually manage to get some sort of like savoury, because normally we have just like Chris, don't we? So yeah, we obviously, as I said, got some food and then my dad was like he's gonna go sort the flights we firstly thought we won't be able to get home till monday as um easy jet weren't flying then till monday so we we're like oh my gosh we're gonna have to be stuck with like no money left for like two whole days and uh, like three half days if that makes sense so it was like horrendous we we all felt like oh my gosh this is the worst experience ever but luckily, my dad managed to get us on with someone called, um, I think it was Air Italia, so it's Italy's main airline, so obviously ours is EasyJet for like, especially down Bristol. Um, so we managed to get on with Air Italia for the following evening. And oh my gosh, you don't understand the relief we all felt, because obviously we are all so stressed, so tired, just wanted to get home at this point. Obviously we had an amazing time in Milan, don't get me wrong, but there comes to a point where you're just so ready to go home, especially when you're all packed, you're all like, you know, you're just ready. 
I meant to hear that your flight's been cancelled, it is horrendous. So once we had found out that we're flying back the next night, we got some sleep to be fair, the hotel was a nice, like, comfy hotel. We really liked it. So yeah, we went to sleep the next morning due to the fact that, as I said, EasyJet messed up. It wasn't our fault, we got like free breakfast in the hotel. It was different, because obviously when you go to a hotel in England, you'd get, there's like the cook section, but in Italy it's just like continental, so we had like croissants, muffins. It was quite nice, like um, fresh juices. There was like grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, like really nice juices. Uh, it was classic British and had orange juice. But um, yeah, it was nice enough breakfast. Um, wasn't obviously the best, because hotel breakfast never are amazing, but it was, it did the job. And then we went back up to the room, and as I said, I keep saying, just like EasyJet messed up, they let us have the room instead of till 11, till 2, which was really nice. So, as we had been up so late, I think we didn't get to sleep up 2am, and we woke up at 8. Me and Chris went back to sleep for an hour or so, just as we knew it would be a long day, as our flight was until the evening. And then, yeah, so our flight, as I said, was half 7 in the evening. So... We stayed in the hotel till five. We had lunch in the hotel. They had it's like linked to a golf resort, so we had restaurant. We we had lunch in the restaurant in the golf resort, which was like fine. It was like bolognese. To be fair, it was alright. Chris didn't like it, but then Chris doesn't like bolognese really, which I don't get because bolognese is like one of my favorite dinners. I quite like the food. I'm not gonna lie. So we had that for lunch, and then we went back to the hotel, and then we sat in the lobby for no lie, like two hours which was not fun, but we didn't want to go swimming because we had just finished packing the case and our swimming stuff was in the bottom of the case, which was a shame because one, I like swimming and two, it would have really killed the time. But Chris and I were silly and didn't leave stuff at the top of our case. But to be fair, we didn't think we needed to. But yeah, we went and waited for my dad and his partner to finish swimming. And then we headed over to the supermarket, which to be fair, was so cool. In their supermarket, they have like everything. I'm putting quite a lot of concealer on because I didn't put much foundation on. Well, to you it might look like it, but considering I've got rosacea, I haven't. Um, in the supermarket, they had like everything you could ever want. They had um, a pasta, like a proper pasta, like fresh pasta maker, um, a cafe, a bakery, a butcher, like everything, like a set for like little boutiques. And then at the front of the store, they had clothing shops. And obviously it's like a normal supermarket, but double the size of anything we have in the UK. So to be fair, I quite enjoyed like just browsing around the supermarket. And then we stopped and got a coffee. And then by the time we got back and sorted out our cases, finished putting the last bits in there. Obviously bought some sweets at the supermarket because why not? <laughs> so by the time we finished doing that, our, our taxi had arrived. This was now about, I think it was just before five. So we got in our taxi, he was a really nice man to be fair. Way better than the taxi before. I've got to say the night before we got a taxi from the airport to the hotel. This was like midnight, like just before midnight. So we got the taxi and honestly, I've never been so frightened in my life. The taxi driver was going well over 100 miles an hour. Obviously it's different, they do it like kilometers or whatever. I don't really understand mileage and stuff like that. But it's measured differently in, Italy and I think other European countries but me and Chris got back to the hotel because we thought we were going so fast and um, put it back into miles changed it to miles and we worked out that we were going well over 100 I think it was like 105 110 miles an hour yeah, they might have no seatbelt on and it was honestly like oh my god are we going to survive this because everything, everything else was going wrong for us we were like oh my gosh this is the end this is the end and it was just like oh it was horrible like I would never wish anything like that on anyone else like horrendous really annoyed at EasyJet there were so many annoyed people which was obviously understandable because yeah you know what I mean but I haven't been telling you the products obviously as I've been talking away to myself but I will leave them all in the description below if you're interested seem to get the film off I've been here for a good nearly oh yes good nearly five minutes trying to get the film off but this is just the Rimmel Match Perfection I always use the Laura Mercier one but obviously that is so expensive so I want to try and find like a dupe and I've had loads of really good things about this so I thought I'd try this first I'll just be setting under my eyes as I am going to cream contour because I love me a bit of cream contour but I'm just going to be setting under my eyes as I really don't want them to crease I really hope this is good because if you ever tried the Laura Mercy on you know that it's amazing but it's so expensive I think it's like getting on £30 
so it's really not cheap to keep repurchasing it. So for now I'm just going to be using this and so far it does look quite nice. I've got lots of dry patches from where it was so hot in um, Italy so I can't really do much about that but hopefully it will be okay. So I'm now going to be cream contouring. But yeah, I can't remember where I got to, but I think I got to where we are leaving for the airport. So we had really nice... Oh, God. Uh, we had a really nice taxi driver. He was, like, so nice. Really interested in about, like, what happened. And, um... So we were, like, chatting to him. We got to Terminal 1. Everything was, like, so good. The plane was on time. Everything was perfect, really. Nothing could really go wrong. So we thought. But, yeah, we got to the airport at probably about quarter past five. And then we... Just looked around duty free, went through security, obviously did everything like that. Sent, checked our bags in. And then we went through to departure lounge and obviously looked in duty free. So, yeah, that was nice and lovely airport, I must say. Is um, the Malpensa one, Malpensa, yeah, Malpensa, in Italy. And it was beautiful. It was amazing. It had all the designer shops in it because obviously it's Italy. It's known for its shopping. So we went around the shop, it was me and Chris obviously just got sweets. I've got a massive bag over there of the new Salted Caramel Limited Edition M&Ms. I am obsessed and no one in my family else likes them so I've got them all to myself. But yeah, we looked around there for, well until our gate came up. We got um, lunch, um, dinner, I had a smoked salmon and cream cheese and chai and stuff bagel because my favourite and it was so good, I'm not going to lie. And my dad had a mozzarella tomato one and my dad's partner had... Um, tuna one and Chris went off because he's fussy when it comes to sandwiches I went to Starbucks and got like I think he got a um, panini from there as we did have bolognese lunch so we weren't like that hungry but we wanted to have something because we knew we wouldn't be home till like I don't even know what time at that point so yeah we went to the gate and then it went everything went off the board like regarding our flight we were like what the hell is going on please don't say we're going to be cancelled again like Honestly, I don't know what we would have done that happened because we like had no money. We just wanted to go home. So yeah, as I was saying, it went off the board. It just said um, more information at eight. This was about seven. So we we're like, oh my god, what the hell? Because our flight was meant to be at um, quarter to eight. So yeah, our flight got delayed. Um, it was caving to clock and still nothing. We were like, what the hell? this is couldn't get any worse for us really. But luckily, about half an hour later, bearing in mind we had been sat in the airport for, we don't even know how long, a couple of hours by now. And you don't really need to do that anymore. Like, you used to have to get to the airport so early, but now, especially for um, short haul flights, you don't have to get there very early. So we were like, we just want to go home. Luckily, our flight then said it was ready. We got the gate, I think it was like B27, there's zone A and zone B, and ours was B27. We made our way over to the gate and got ready to board and as you might remember as I said at the start we flew from Bristol but due to the fact that um well that was too much proud of it yeah. um they're not flying to Bristol we had to fly to Heathrow and if you know um where Bristol is in comparison to Heathrow it is about a two hour drive and the car is in Heathrow so what we did is when we arrived in Heathrow uh, about 11 UK time obviously is behind um Italy's an hour ahead we had to get a higher car all the way from London Heathrow, change the car back into Dad's car at the Bristol, leave the hire car. So the time we managed to do all of that, we got home at, I think, half past four in the morning, which was not ideal considering that we were babysitting. The children we were babysitting were already at the house. Mum had, we were meant to have them from Saturday morning when we got back from Italy. However, as you know now, we didn't get back to Sunday morning. We got back early hours of Sunday morning. Yeah, early hours of Sunday morning. So, yeah, so we went straight from the airport to babysitting. They woke us up at eight. So we got about two hours sleep that night. So that's why I was quiet and I didn't end my vlog because, to be honest, I was not in the mood. I had a horrible end to my holiday. Obviously, the rest of the holiday was amazing. Don't get me wrong, I had the best time ever. But the end was not nice. This is a new product. I thought I'd just go back to makeup. This is a Kiko bronzer. I don't know what type it is. Beyond Limits Maxi Bronzer in One Essential Honey. Because all I have ever really used is Benefit. And when I was in Italy, Italy is, um, Kiko is from Milan. So I was like, it's kind of an excuse to get makeup, isn't it, really? To say it's from Italy. So I got 
a new bronzer and a new lipstick which I'll be using in this video and to be fair it looks it looks quite nice it's a lot naturaler than I think it's a lot lighter than the benefit one because better of one when I'm not very tan right now it can look very orange on my skin whereas this just actually makes me look really bronze and I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot more now but yeah that's basically what happened with the vlogs and why I didn't end them because easy jet messed up and affected everything and it was horrendous so yeah but everything's better now we're back in the UK which feels so good honestly there was nothing better than jumping into my bed at half four in the morning we were like oh my gosh it feels so good to be home so yeah um any other thing I can update you with mm, well I just I'm having such a mind blank when it comes to videos because I've been getting quite a lot of stick from people and obviously it's, that's kind of affected me a bit I've just had such a mind blank with videos, I have no clue what you want to see, so I would really appreciate if I had some um, suggestions. I don't really mind what, unless it's something like I won't really want to do, but I would do challenges, vlogs, literally like, I'm just such a, at a mental block with like videos, like I'm just not very motivated because I don't have the ideas, whereas if I had the ideas I'd be so motivated, but... I'm sure the motivation will come back soon. And I'm really sorry that I haven't been speaking about the products. Obviously, I've just been rambling on about Italy. I'll definitely be leaving them in the description. So if you are interested in what I'm putting on my face today, then make sure to check out the description below. Okay, so now that I've finished my skin makeup, I'm just going to be brushing for my eyebrows with this. As you know, I don't really fill my eyebrows in now. I would only fill it in if I really needed to. And I'm so low on this. I really think that this is something I probably will end up buying. It's the Gimme Brow Shade 3, which I use. I think I've used in every single makeup video I've ever done on this channel. It's just so good. I know I've got a little brown dot there. I'll get rid of that, but obviously I can't do that right now because it's still wet. So I'm going to be spraying my face using the NYX yet again. I do this before I go on to like eyes and lips because I feel like otherwise it makes everything really sticky. Whereas... The face is the only thing I really need to set because that's the only thing that really rubs off. Obviously, I'm in my summer holidays now and I am starting my course. Oh, my goodness, what's this? In childcare in September. I think I've already mentioned that. If not, then there you go. That's what I'm doing next year. It's still in my college. So it's still well in my comfort zone. And I'm so happy that I get to do it there. And they have the course available there as I didn't really feel like moving anywhere. And now I don't have to. Okay, so the palette I'm going to be using, and we'll talk about this because I have never used it. Never, like, I don't even know what colours I'm going to use. I haven't thought about it at all. It is the Makeup Obsession Love Is My Drug. I briefly spoke about it in my um, pack, not pack with me, my day one of Milan. As I thought I was going to do makeup up out there, but to be fair, it was way too hot. I wore no makeup all week. But it's such a beautiful palette. Like, I'm sorry, you probably see the reflection, but it's just, like, rose goldy and that's, like, and pinky, which is, like, my favourite eyes to do. So obviously I'm going to be starting off by putting a transition shade and I think I'm going to be mixing the white with the Cherish because the Cherish is just a little bit too dark for a transition shade. So I'll just be mixing both of them and putting it through my crease. I don't think I want to do anything too dramatic because the rest of my makeup isn't going to be that dramatic but you never know, I may end up changing my mind. Which is quite likely because the colours in here are so pigmented and so beautiful. If you know me, you know that something that I do tend to go on high end with is palettes, because um, the pigment, I'm really hoping that this one's good. So far, so good. I think I am just gonna use it without the white because it, it doesn't come out quite so dark as it looks on the pan. So I'll just be really gently dusting that through my crease. I haven't done makeup in so long, so like, I've almost like forgot, like I don't really wear makeup anymore but I really wanted to like try these palettes for the video because I haven't yet and they look really cool and I bought them so I might as well use them. Now that I've put that through the crease like it's really messy but it's just the crease colour I've decided that I think I am going to do a bit more out there because I've got so many pretty colours I might as well use them. I'm debating, nah I think I'm going to use these colours so I'm then going to put Fixated using the same brush through the crease being really light with your hand because it's a bit darker. Applying it slightly closer to the lid so you can see the transition between the light to the dark, like so. And then I'm going to be using, going into some darker pink shades, I'm going to be using a mixture. 
well both shades really of flame and lust i didn't realize i had shades i don't think i've been saying maybe i have um, to be fair i'm still shattered from the phone so i'm going to be putting flame on the outside and then no lust on the outside and then flame slightly close to the middle and i'm going to be using uh oh i had it just now yeah real techniques what brush is this Base shadow brush, but I'm going to be using it in my crease because why not? It's getting dark, so I'm really sure if the lighting changes. I love like rose gold colors. I think they re look really nice with um, blue eyes. And finally, I'm going to be taking Lust, which is like a really pretty dark pink shade, and working that into my crease. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to be using a bit of a fluffier brush and really lightly tapping a mixture between Cherish, Flame, and Devotion. No, cherish, sorry, cherish, fixated and devotion, mixing them together and sort of just blending them up to smooth all the colours together. Like so, so everything's smooth together. And now I'm going to be adding a bit of glitter because I love glitter shadow. I think glitter shadow is so nice. So I'm going to be using, it's called Be Mine, which is like a rose goldy sort of brownie colour. And I'm going to be using this um, mix again because I love this when it comes to glitter. And spraying, to be fair, any brush, so I'm going to be using this studio brush, I don't know what one it is, but it's just like a flat shader brush. Spraying my brush just to make the eyeshadow even more pigmented. Tapping into the shadow and putting it on my lid. Wow, to be, this palette is a tenner. Like, I just don't think you can go wrong. I don't get the people that, oh, I say people, I do this, <laughs> spend so much money on a palette. Like, I don't know why I do it, like, yes, it's really luxurious and really like a nice tree. But nowadays the palettes are so good, like yes the palettes never used to be that great when it comes to drugstore, they used to be so like, they like, gave you so much fallout, um, just they just weren't very good. But now like, there, there's no difference really in the quality. Now that I've got that all over the lids, I'm going to be using a bit of a smaller brush, this other studio brush, and spraying it again. And I'm going to be tapping it into this shade, um, Addiction, and putting that in the like inner side of my eyes. This is a little bit less pigmented, so I might end up changing this one. Mm, I'm not really that happy with that. I'm going to be changing this colour, and it might just be better if I apply it in my hand. I'm not too sure, but, oh, I'm not too sure, really. I think I might try using this bit of a bigger brush. And I'm going to be using Admire Mix of Addiction, both shades. Yeah. Can you see that? Now that everything's really smoothly applied, I'm going to go and use a smaller, more defined brush and apply this shade mixed with these, so these three bottom shades minus glitter one on my bottom lash line. I use a bit of a bigger brush actually. And then I'm gonna be taking the white shade on a this brush here, which is just a primer brush, and putting that under my eyes in the corner just to like brighten them and really open them. I'm then gonna go back to my Mary Luminizer and tap this right in the corners. Now I'm gonna be using my mascara and I'm gonna be using my Tarte Mascara, which is like one of my favorites, just the classic of mine. And I'll just be curling my eyelashes and then applying the Tarte Tartlet, no, Tarte Mani to Mascara on my bottom and top lashes. Okay, so now that my mascara's on, we're gonna go on to the last step, which is lipstick. I'm gonna be using a brand new lipstick I Bought out of Milan, which is another Kiko product, Kiko Milano, in the shade 103. I don't really understand how you use this. It's base colour and top coat, but I think I'm just going to be using this colour. I've had so many good things about these. These are meant to be so good. So I'm expecting a lot. And this is like a classic nude shade, like a classic Emily shade. And I'm just going to apply this to my lips, oddly enough. It's so like buttery on the lips. Okay, so that's the finished look. It's very bold. And now looking back, I might have added my eyebrows just to make them sort of blend in a bit more. But yeah, this is the finished look. I think I like the lipstick. It's quite patchy, as you can see. But I think once it sets you, the patchiness won't be so noticeable. I love the eyeshadow palette. The powder seems to have done a good job. My skin doesn't feel tacky. The bronzer, we get again, really good product. I know that I normally love to do, so I was sure I'd love these products. So yeah, that's what happened in Milan, and that's what my makeup looks like. If you want to see any other like makeup looks, and if you want like a prom, I know it's too late now, but I don't know, a summer makeup look, a more like back to school makeup look, anything like that, then let me know, and I'll do some more makeup videos for you if you like watching makeup videos. 
but yeah please leave in the comments below other videos you'd like to see me do make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe down below for more content if you want more vlogs let me know anything really just yeah let message me on instagram if you have any more questions and i'll see you on my next video bye